They've made the pass to the free guy without forcing anything in the paint. Well said, and the Boston Celtics, who have the terrible, awful Gordon Hayward injury to start the game, start the season, then drop 0-2, have a chance to do something no one has ever done. But Paul George hits a three that rattles around the rim and goes in. We're not done yet. 37 seconds to go, cutting the lead in half. Plenty of time. Plenty of time here. The next foul by the Celtics will be the penalty. Team check. fouls, the Thunder are in great shape foul-wise. Maybe they're checking to see where his foot was planted on that one-legged three-point attempt. Well, we're behind that. We had a bad angle here to see that. Uh, let's see what happens. Here it is. Oh, yeah. Well behind it. A couple inches behind. Three points for Paul George, who's got 25 and 10 tonight. Uh, he's had a very solid game. He's been playing very good basketball for Oklahoma City. They're impressed with him playing within what they're trying to do. Plus, you're adding another good defender. Paul George was hitting at three, was going to say the Celtics have a chance to win seven straight after an 0-2 start, which has not been done. Now, the big thing here is no fouls by Oklahoma City. Whatever you do, do not foul. You've got to hold them to one shot. Celtics have two timeouts remaining. Thunder have one timeout remaining, and Oklahoma City has a foul to give as well. They're going to run it down. About 13 seconds difference here. I see he got the, he got the, what he wanted here now. Irving on Adams. Somebody's going to have to double. Whoa, he got all the way to the uh, rim and uh, scored uh, again. That's, that's Irving at his best. Just don't foul now, Boston. Long three. Mello is halfway down. And a rebound for the Celtics with 7.2 seconds to go. An impressive second half and fourth quarter here in Oklahoma City. Well, just think of what Kyrie Irving has done here once he got rolling. Just look at this. Now, here he is. He gets down inside in between three guys. Once he had Adams, you know they were going to have to double team. But they didn't come in double team like they did in the first half. Timeout called by Brad Stevens. And with 7.2 seconds to go, the Celtics on the road up five.